Today's subject is potatoes. We do so much with potatoes. We eat it mashed, we eat it fried, we eat it boiled and make a salad out of it. Hot dishes with some meat. It's very good as a gratin in the oven and so on and so forth. Today I want to teach you one of my family dishes and it's called sigma potatoes. It's this potato which is really crunchy outside and creamy inside. It has a weird technique to do but I want to teach you how to make that so that it will be your family classic as well. And you know it's springtime and vegetables starts to wake up because they want to have new children and they start to grow things like this. You might see some greens growing in your garlic or onions. When these things are happening, some of the great foods go to waste. Highest thrown away goods in the world is potato. In Turkey, in fact, in the houses, 54%. And it's such a pity. So in this video, as well as giving you this very precious recipe from the family, how to reserve, store your potatoes and when to throw them away, when to really take care of them and what you can do with the peels, etc, etc. And so many like little house details that I use in my house. So if we are ready, we can start. <music> Potatoes should not be stored in the fridge, but it should be in a dark, cool place, mostly like the corners of the uh, kitchen, cupboard. kitchen cupboards, like the cupboards and the corner of the kitchen. Anyways, why? Because the light helps it wake up like this. He, when it gets heated up, it also wakes up like this. And secondly, it shouldn't be stored in a nylon bag. There's a hormone, it's called ethylene. It's the only hormone that is in the form of gas. This hormone is the thing which grows the vegetable or the fruit as it goes on after ripening after a certain amount of time it helps fruit to fall for example from its branch and then the hormone continues and it's what ripens the fruit also is the thing which makes it go bad like as this is standing alone the ethylene hormone is secreted outside but when it's in a plastic bag that hormone is kept and stuck so it continues as it like dissolves around here in a plastic bag it gets higher and higher and the process gets fastened this is for example some people would say if you have an unripe avocado put it with an apple together why the hormone of the apple goes very good with the avocado and it ripens it faster same with bananas exactly so therefore you shouldn't store it in a plastic bag but a bag like paper bag or like this or totally open in a drawer or something you shouldn't put it in the refrigerator and if you refrigerate it two things happen dehydrates because the refrigerators have this like because we don't for it to not to build ice at the back there's this dehydration and secondly it starts to brown what happens is the acrylamide level i don't know it's i'm pronouncing it right but the acrylamide level increases in the potato in the refrigerator and it even becomes brown outside starts to grow inside and it's even cancerogen cancerogen <laughs> anyway cancerous <laughs> or something anyway so we bought this last week and stored it in such a way she woke up this part is again not so good to eat we have to cut it with the roots like this when we cut it the part the roots shouldn't be shown like this for example, if I cut it more shallow like this, we don't want this brownness. It's again, not great for our health. Secondly, if you have a garden or if you have a soil around, what you can do, plant it. How you plant it is two things. If it's like normal soil, it's like a small garden, you dig a hole at least 30 to 40 centimeters and put it and some put some soil on top. Or you can do it in a sack, put some, you tell me. You put it in a sack with soil, and when the green parts grow out of the soil, you add more soil, cover the green parts, and then it grows again, and then you cover it again, and you actually expand the sack along with the growment of the potato. Meanwhile, at the parts where you added soil, there will be more potatoes. This is gardener Bahar speaking, and I'll show you her garden that her small fides, fides are, uh, her mm. small fides are growing. Anyways, so if you have a potato and you want to also use the skins, clean it with something like this. So this way you get rid of the extra soil. And if there are like cracks like this, which you cannot take the scrub, you can get rid of them like this. Special for this potato is you can see there's also greenness and greenness is not so good. Again, with this part, sometimes this greenness 
can turn into purple and if your potato turned into purple don't use it but if there's greenness again cut it deeply like this if you want to peel them the best thing to peel is these peelers because if even though you are great with your knife you get a lot of like thick parts with this one very easily and it's also very time consuming so with this it's very easy and you don't waste much so always use a peeler for my potato, I'm going to, because it's a traditional dish, they don't want the skins on. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the skins of... What will you do with the skins? Skins are great hummus for the soil, or you can make a compost out of it, or you can make very nice chips. Just put the peels on a baking tray, put some olive oil and put it into the oven for 200 degrees Celsius for about 12 minutes and take it off, put some salt. It's really, really as tasty, maybe more tasty than normal chips. Amazing. Now we start. Here I have a big pot, a liter and a half or two liters around oil. But the thing is, it has to just like be around this high. I'm going to do something called frying which is normally when you throw potato into frying 180 degrees and what happens is very fast gets crunchy outside but what we want to do we want the potatoes to be very big for example this size so there's a lot of thickness we want it to be cooked inside so what we are going to do we are going to have holes like this and then we are going to fry it in rather like now it's around 88 degrees about 110 degrees celsius but it won't be like frying with lots of bubbles but it's going to be like as if it's just hanging in water it's going to have that effect so the smaller ones what i'm going to do is cut it like this so it will have different shapes and different shapes that actually have different tastes so it's about 120 degrees so i am just throwing them inside like this as you can see it's as if like it's hanging in the water nothing is happening i'm still turning the heat on so i am throwing all these potatoes in like this so it was 120 degrees now it went down to 108 what i'm going to do take it to a lower heat like this so it will slowly fry with this kind of oil the inside is getting cooked it's like getting boiled in oil when i put a knife into the potato it sticks like this when it's raw inside so this will cook about 25 minutes like this and then we're gonna see i think this is the easiest the most delicious and the most interesting way of frying potatoes. I should tell you, actually, I have done the Heston Blumenthal method, double frying, triple frying, and all these. <laughs> and okay, they're also good in their own categories, but this is phenomenal. And it's not known in the world. So this will be cooked around 100 to 110 degrees Celsius, slowly like this. For this sauce, I want just one very hot pepper. Three cloves of garlic, 80 milliliters of water, half a teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of sugar, and two teaspoons of white wine vinegar. So this is going to simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes, and then we're going to make it into a sauce. Now, as I like poke my knife, it becomes soft. So what I'm going to do is increase the heat a bit now as we can see there's a great smell in the kitchen sour kind of sweet at the same time Allah sorry guys oh no and now after I ruined my t-shirt. Now we have this mixture like this. There are some skins uh, which are like thicker, but I want them because I want it to be chunky. And now I'm putting four tablespoons of mayonnaise. Mm. 
Now I want to have a taste. A bit more salt could do. Other than that, it's really good. And it's not as hot as you think. It's very nice. So this is the sauce. Now, shall I? <laughs> this is Bahar shooting. Stabilizator. <laughs> okay. Anyways, so. Summer is coming and summer meaning corianders. This is the coriander from my mom's garden. They are also changing face. Normally, this is the original coriander leaves, but when it starts to finish her life and go for seeds like this, the leaves get thinned like this, but the taste is there and it's very, very nice. I'm going to just like not use these very thick parts. I'm roughly chopping the corianders. Half an onion, some salt to the onions and rub them like this. So this, you know, has onions have an edge. This takes the edge off. This also gets into the salad. Here I have a few tomatoes. Add some tomatoes. Whoa, yes. bit of salt some lemon juice. Also be very good with a bit of olive oil. Again, a sip of vinegar. Finally, something that is never missed in Cypriot salads is a bit of olives, like this. Now, fingers in, and we mix it like this. It's so very nice. Very simple and very nice. No. <laughs> The salad is ready, the sauce is ready. Now let's check our potatoes. Oy. Also, this is done. But how you understand this is like you poke it like this and they're really soft. They are crunchy outside, soft inside. That's the beauty of it. Or that's the magic of it. We should put immediately some salt and mix it well. And the thing is, you should eat these potatoes hot, guys. Otherwise, when this gets cold, okay, it's very nice again. Some of my relatives love it cold as well, but it loses that crunchiness and softness a little bit. I want to show you the inside. Outside is very crunchy and inside, as you can see, is very creamy. Put some sauce. And eat it of happiness yes and of hotness yes but i think we should share it immediately guys let's go out these ones i love We call it in Turkish, eating like a bear. <laughs> now we have cleared out the potatoes about in three minutes. And as you can see, the crunchy outside and creamy potato inside like this. It's unbelievable how tasty it is as well. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up and share the video with your loved ones through WhatsApp, through other things. And please leave a small comment or a big one, whatever you like, for this goodness to go on. Thank you for all your messages, all your great support. And we love you and we live on your support. We live on your great comments, support. And thank you so much for being there for us. Take great care.